everyone, it's Alexis here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making funeral service flowers for one of our biggest clients here at the flower shop. Unfortunately, their mother recently passed away, so we were assigned to do the funeral flowers for their service. So I'm going to just start with making the casket spray first. And I just like to add in my hydrangea because it is my biggest flower and it takes up the most room. Then to create like my shape, I like to add in my align flowers like my larkspur, my liatris, and this is really just going to help create like the length and shape of the design for the casket. When I'm inserting my flowers, I like to group my like flowers into groups of threes, fives, and sevens. I typically like to work in odd numbers. Once I have the general shape of the casket, I then like to go in and add my focal flowers. Today I'm going to be working with these beautiful pink roses. When inserting into the foam, you want to make sure that every insert is your final insert. You don't want to move the stems around too much. Now, since this is our top client here at the flower shop, we're definitely going to be adding in some of those premium peonies to this beautiful casket spray here today. So I'm just going around and adding some of these nicer focal flowers to the casket spray. We're also going to be working with some of this beautiful ranunculus today. Adding in these premium flowers is really going to help elevate the design. And here is the finished casket spray. Next, we are going to be creating some head and foot pieces. These are going to be two side baskets that sit on either side of the casket spray. So this client in particular wanted baskets instead of urn arrangements. So on my channel here, I actually did make some urn arrangements. So if you want a video on that, click the link in the corner and that'll take you to that video. But this client wanted big baskets. When inserting my flowers, I like to work in a triangle form. And again, I just like to group my flowers into twos and threes. I find that this looks really pleasing to the eye. As I insert my flowers, it's important to keep the triangle method in mind and to make sure that you are inserting all of your flowers in the shape of a triangle. This is really going to help make your designs look very balanced. Now I'm going to be designing two standing sprays. These standing sprays are also going to be sitting on either side of the casket and the head and foot pieces as well. The client really wanted the room to be full of these beautiful lush flowers. So it's really important that we as the florists made the flowers feel and look as beautiful as possible. Now, whenever I'm designing two of anything, whatever I do to one arrangement, I like to mirror and do that to the other. I like to work on them simultaneously to just get them done quicker. Also when designing standing sprays, whatever I do to the top of the standing spray, I like to mirror and add flowers to the bottom of the standing spray as well. This is going to help make the design look balanced and beautiful. It's really important to add in your biggest flowers to the arrangements first. This is going to help take up the most room. Mm -hmm. 
As I insert my roses, I like to work towards the center first by just clustering my roses together. Then whatever I do to one standing spray, I like to mirror and do that to the other one. Still keeping that triangle shape in mind as I insert my roses, this is really key to help making your design look balanced. Once I have all my roses inserted, I then just want to go through and add in some of those premium peonies to all the arrangements. To help make these standing sprays feel a little bit more full, I'm just adding in some of this purple Monty and a little bit of this Alstroemeria as well. This is just going to help fill in any of the gaps. And here are the finished standing sprays. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Monday. Follow me on Instagram at flowersbylexis. And I will see you all soon with another video. Bye!